Hello, the 10 fold group. I'm sneaky way. I would like you guys to help me with this question 5.1.1. Right. So this question says prove without the use of a calculator that the tan of 480 sine of 300 cos of 14 sine negative 135 sine of 104 cos of 225 can all that thing, all that expression on the left hand side can give us a value of 3 over 2 without using a calculator. Now this is easy. You just have to figure out which quadrants are these things lying on. So 480 guys. Where does 480 lie? Now, there's a better way of working on it, but because we don't have much time, I'm just going to show you a technique that is a bit quicker. When you start at zero degrees and then you work this way, you're working clockwise. This is in the positive direction. You'll have 90, 180, 270, 360. When you come back here, you will have done 360 degrees in total, right? If you go back for a, a, an extra, um, it's going to be 450 degrees. So 480 degrees is going to lie in this quadrant. Right, it's actually 60 degrees additional to 450 degrees. Very important for us to uh, keep that in mind. It's 480, right, so if I go there and I say 360 plus 90, we get 450. If I add 30 on that, you end up with 480 degrees, right. So that's going to be as good as saying this is negative tan of 30 degrees multiplied by Sine of 300, 300 is in this quadrant. This is as good as negative sine of 60 degrees. And then there's cos of 14 degrees. And then this one is a, an angle in the third quadrant. It is also as good as the sine of, and it's not positive, but negative, sine of 45 degrees. Everything divided by, this one is as good as sine 90 degrees plus 14 degrees, which will reduce to cos of 14 degrees. And then 225 is an angle in the third quadrant, which is as good as, sorry, not sine, but it's as good as cos. So this one is as good as the cosine of 45 degrees. Now you need to know this by, by now that sine 45 is the same as cos 45. Now this one of sine 90 plus 14 is going to produce cos 14. So cos 14 is going to be the same as cos 14. You'll be left with sine 60 and tan 30. If you go to your calculator and you press tan 30, right, which is going to give us the square root of 3. This one is going to give us the square root of 3 uh, multiplied by this one, which is the square root of 3 over 2. And when you multiply the square root of 3 times the square root of 3, guys, you are simply going to end up with exactly 3 divided by 2 because negative times negative will give us an answer that is absolutely a positive solution. And then this is how you just had to work on this particular question. It's just easy, guys. Not complicated as long as you understand your reduction formulas and then you figure out in which quadrant of the four quadrants your angle is currently lying in. You can be able to uh, work out what the solution is going to be. So thank you for sending us that question, guys. There is other ways of working on it. We will be able to show you how to do it. A big shout out to Liberty for sponsoring our show. A big shout out to you guys for watching us. We are coming back. We'll resurrect next week on Monday with more mathematics. Make sure that you are with us till then. We love you guys. Bye-bye.